Is your email list not growing? Or do you have an event where you just don't see the attendees growing? Then today's product showcase might be able to help you. I have been using Optinly for some months now and I have been able to grow my personal email list and 80% of my conversions are coming from pop-ups built with Optinly. Via Optinly, you can build pop-ups, inline forms, and so much more. I'm doing a giveaway of Optinly where you can win a lifetime license of five websites. I will share the details later in the video. So without further ado, let's dive into Optinly and build some pop-ups. We are now inside of Tinly, which is a very simple platform, yet powerful. We have our dashboard here where we have our different pop-ups. Then we have some quick stats about how many responses, how many clicks, views, and the amount of campaigns you have. Then we have the campaigns running down here, and that can both be a pop-up, can be an inline form, or a full page pop-up. Over here, we basically have the same view where we have our different pop-ups, our different campaigns. Then we have subscribers, and then we have integrations. Integrations are native integrations. They do also have Sapir and they have Integrately and Pably. So you can, of course, also integrate if they do not have the native integration. I am using InCharge to send out emails, so I have a native integration here. And this is working very well. It uploads the subscribers immediately as they sign up, and you can make them sign up via tags. I will show you that later in the video. Furthermore, then we have our sites here, which is also up here where we add a new domain. Then we can create a campaign and that is about it. So let's just set up a campaign. Here we will choose YouTube video as the title. And then you can see that you can build the campaign based on the different intents that you have for the campaign. So if it's for building audience, which is like growing a list, an email list, you choose that. If it's because you have some coupon pop-ups you want to build, you choose that. You can also do countdown. You can even do gamification pop-ups. I will just build an audience and then I will press create. After pressing create, you can see where we can choose between some different types of pop-ups. You can see that we can choose between a pop-up launcher, which means that by clicking on the launcher down here, it will show the pop-up. We can also do a commercial video pop-up. We can do where we embed a form and we have some free shipping coupons and so on. I will choose this one right here where we have a form where they can sign up for my newsletter. When we are building our campaign, this is our campaign dashboard for the specific campaign. Over here, we can choose whether it should be shown on desktop, mobile, tablet. We can even enable Google's invisible recapture and you do not need an API key. Then we can see the status of the campaign, whether it's running or not. We can set some different rules down here about how it should be displayed. So here we can choose whether the pop-up should be shown after a certain amount of seconds that the visitor has been on your website. We can choose whether it should reappear for the visitor and after how long. So this one will show immediately and it will reappear after five days. So if the visitor goes to the website and doesn't interact with the pop-up, then five days later, the visitor will see the pop-up again, but in between, they will not see the pop-up. You can always set this one to zero, and then it will always be shown. Then we have the embed options down here, where you can add it as HTML code, or you can use it as a WordPress shortcode if you have their plugin. Furthermore, you can add tags, and these tags are also being transferred into the integration you're using. So I'm using InCharge, so whatever tags I'm adding here, will be transferred over to InCharge via the integration. And tags are great for differentiating between your subscribers. So here I will just add YouTube list as a tag. So every subscriber for this specific campaign will get the tag YouTube list. We can also add targeting rules down here. This can be that you have a certain amount of options you want to be fulfilled or just one of them. And the options differs from URL page views as, and sessions. So this means that you can actually show a pop-up based on the amount of sessions that the user has had on your website. So if you don't want to show new users a specific pop-up, but only the users that are coming again and again and again, which are maybe indecisive and needs the last push, you can set a sessions beta here, and then you can say that it needs to be more 
than let's say 20 then they have been on your website 20 times so the 21 time they come to your website they will see this pop-up now we'll just save the pop-up and then let's go into the actual customization of the pop-up in here is where we design our pop-up so you can see up here we can choose between desktop tablet and iphone and over here we have our options so you can see we have a background image, we have some text we can change, and we have some eye catcher as well. We can also choose whether we want to show terms and conditions or not. So now it loaded the actual form on the left side, and you can see it's very simple. It doesn't have much styling at the moment. So what we can do over here is we can of course change here to use maybe the assistant font. Then we down here can choose the form now i would love to be able to change the form more drastically by being able to delete fields so let's say i like this design but i don't want to ask them for name this is not possible at the moment we do have to ask them for name but for the specific form fields we can still change the actual font as you can see we can change the text color the background color and of course the text and the same goes for the email field where we again will just choose assistant in our form here. It is a little bit buggy because it keeps removing and adding the form, but it's okay for now. And now you can see we have a form. We can see that it has some hover and we have the terms and conditions. I will just remove the terms and conditions again. We can also change the animation the way we want it to either fade into our website if we want it to zoom in or the different options down here. We can also choose the background color and change the actual image. If you're giving away an ebook, you might want to send them to a specific page where they can download the ebook after they have signed up the email. This you do with the redirect after subscribe. So you can either choose to open this in a new tab or you can just replace the current tab with the place where they can download the ebook. You can of course also just send the ebook in an email or if you don't have anything at all to offer them, you can just not redirect them, but just show you the thank you page where you say thank you for them subscribing. Very simple. Now going back here, a thing they have added recently is custom CSS. So there are a lot of elements that we cannot change at the moment. For instance, the hover here. If I wanted to remove the hover, I would have to go in, add custom CSS, and then do it that way. And that works fine for me because I'm fine at coding CSS. But for people who are not, this is not the perfect solution. So with a drag and drop builder, this would be a lot easier to come around. But that is the builder. For now, I'll just press save template. And then I'll say OK. And now we have our template ready. If I go back to the settings here, we can choose to set it live. And then it will be live on the website. So right now I have two websites and automatically because I have Optimly installed on both websites, it will run this pop-up right here. So I will not press at the moment. But what I want to show you is another type of campaign. I want to show you the gamification pop-ups. So if I press create down here, again, we will be shown with the same overview here. And scrolling down, you can see the different options again. And let's try and find a gamification pop-up that we can use. I will just choose this one right here. So again, we have the same settings as you saw before. So I will just press save and then I'll jump right into customizing the pop-up. So now again, you can see we have our pop-up and we have some more options over here. And that's because this design just has more options to offer. So we have multiple titles and descriptions. Then we, of course, we have our button where they can start the pop-up. Then we have some description down here. We have a background image and we have a secondary image as well. We have some layout colors and the animation as we saw before. But that's about it when we choose the gamification pop-up. So it is the same as you saw before. So no matter what type of pop-up you will choose, you will always have the same options. The only thing they differ on is the amount of elements. So you do not have the drag and drop builder. So the design that you choose depending on the elements is what you can change out in the sidebar. And you can always change the text, the font and the colors sometimes, but you cannot change the hover effects. You cannot change the pictures and the way the pictures look. You can upload new pictures, but you cannot change the width, the height, only if you choose to use the CSS. 
But overall, that is the platform of Tinly. Very simple. They have a great support. So if you ever have any questions, just write to them. Otherwise, I'll just encourage you to start using pop-ups because they really do work. I'm converting a lot via pop-ups. Taking a look at the pricing structure of Optinly, it consists of three plans and you can get started completely free with a very generous free plan. Now there are two paid plans depends on the amount of websites you need. Now when we do compare these plans to the competitors, it is very cheap. You do get a lot of value for these plans. And if you do need more websites than they can offer in their plans, you can always add more websites at a cost of $9 per extra website. Now the alternatives to Optinly as I see it is Optin Monster and Poptin. And the main difference between both Optin Monster and Poptinly compared to Optinly is the drag and drop builder. Optinly does not have the drag and drop builder option, which means that we are pretty locked in the design phase. We can't build the pop-up to be exactly our design. We can't sit and drag and drop different elements. So we're pretty locked and a workflow editor where we have this drag and drop options just open up so many more options for us and gives us a freedom to build the pop-up to match our design and to even increase conversions more. Moving on to the future of Optinly, they have a pack roadmap. First off, they're working on UX improvement. So we will get a better app that's easier to use with even more options. Then they're adding more pop-ups like a yes and no pop-up and a feedback pop-up. This will just increase the amount of pop-ups we can add to our website and feedback pop-ups are just so valuable in order to get feedback on certain features. Last but not least, they're adding more integrations and this is native integration. So we don't need a third party system like Zapier to help us build integrations to our probably email system. Now, one thing I do really hope they will add soon is a drag and drop builder. This is something that will really increase the value of Optinly and make it easier for their customers and for ourselves to build these pop-ups. Because right now we are very locked in the design phase. We need to be able to drag and drop the different elements to build our pop-ups. Moving on to the pros and cons of using Optinly, starting with the pros. Their system doesn't affect the loading time on your website. They have a responsive support and they have a modern and easy to use design. Whereas for the cons, they do not have the drag and drop workflow builder and I'm missing more freedom in the design phase. Now, if you want to win this lifetime license of Optinly, all you have to do is three simple steps. You have to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and then comment down below, what do you want to use Optinly for? I will pick a winner 17 of December. Using Optinly, I have been able to grow my email list to new heights. If you can offer an ebook or something else in exchange for their email, then you will see a bigger growth in your email list. Overall, I will give Optinly four stars. Their core functionality is superb, but I really need to see a drag and drop builder. But yeah, that is my review of Optinly. I hope that you liked the review and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions to Optinly or other products you would like me to review, please leave a comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. Let's catch up on the next one.